Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought I'd spend this season talking about something that's really important for every human being. There are lots of abilities that we all have, which give us the power to move closer to God and further away from sin. The Bible refers to these as fruits of the Spirit and virtues. However, before I start using the Bible as a source of information, I'd like to establish a few things about it first. The Catholic Church holds the Bible in high honor, so we should too. But in episode 14, we also prove that the Bible can be twisted or read wrong and isn't the only source of information about the faith. So, what's the real purpose of the Bible? Well, remember 2 Timothy 3.16. Scripture is inspired by God, so it has to be true since God can't produce lies. So that's a good starting point. The Bible contains truth. Now, of course, 2 Peter 3.16 says that people can misinterpret the scriptures, so it stands to reason that there's a means of interpreting them correctly. Therefore, if the Bible is interpreted correctly, it can teach people the truth. Correct interpretations of the Bible can be gotten from the Catholic Church, which wrote and compiled the Bible as we know it today. Based on these interpretations, we now have lists of the various fruits that the Holy Spirit gives to people and the virtues that people can use in their efforts to make themselves better. First, the virtues. Prudence is the ability to act in the most appropriate way according to the circumstances. Justice is the ability to make strong and effective moral determinations. Temperance is the use of our resources to do good most effectively. Fortitude is the strength to persevere in goodness and not back down. Faith we've touched on briefly. It has elements of willingness to believe, of trust, and of loyalty. Hope is the desire for good things and the belief that we can receive them. Charity, the greatest of them all, is the giving of what you have in order to help someone else. The greater the cost to you, the greater the charity. The fruits of the Spirit are usually listed as twelve, and some of them overlap, at least partly with the virtues. Charity, for example, is both a fruit and a virtue. Peace and goodness are fruits and can be considered very closely related to the virtue of justice. Kindness and generosity are close kin to charity. Faithfulness is an aspect of faith, and another one of the fruits, modesty, is often connected to another, chastity. The remaining fruits are joy, patience, gentleness, and self-control. Altogether, they're usually listed as charity, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, generosity, gentleness, faithfulness, modesty, self-control, and chastity. Over the course of the next 11 episodes, I'll be talking about these various fruits, though I may list more than one in an episode when they're related to each other. Lots of people don't understand what the virtues really are anymore, leading to a lot of mistakes. If I think chastity is a form of power, and you think it's a form of enslavement, I'm naturally going to like it more than you will. Hopefully, we'll be able to dispel some common myths about these fruits and virtues, and have a little fun in the process. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.